Greetings everybody, welcome back to Hinterland and our Struggles Real Series. A little bit of a gap between last episode and this episode, but as most of you have known, um, I become a dad. I know, it's crazy. I am a daddy. I think I'm going to put the fun now as who's the daddy. <laughs> but I don't know, we'll see. I haven't decided. Right. So I'm going to get cracking and I can talk as well whilst we do that. I just want to show someone, I can't remember who commented to apologise, but they said you need to get an outhouse because we've got no toilet, but there is a toilet there. So we're good to go. We haven't got no shower or bath though, So, but I suppose we've got a big lake over there, a little bit cold this time of year, but there we go. Right, first things first. I have accepted, you can see the one flash in there, did say we could do contracts on those three fields only if we own the equipment to do them. I have spotted, oh, there's a fertilising one now as well, that's good. Well, I've accepted the ploughing one anyway. Um, if the fertilising one's still there, I may do that as well nearly two and a half grand for that bad boy so we are going to do that give us a little bit extra money now we are in the last chance saloon for planting wheat or barley i think i'm going to go for barley because it should be ready in july whereas if we plant wheat now it won't be ready till august with a bit of luck and a bit of hard graft we should have a harvest to buy then <laughs> he says Fingers crossed. We're going to have to. We've got to get something. We're going to have to kind of make that our main aim as we get nearer to that time. So I think the plan of attack, obviously this is our plot of land. Um, we've got equipment scattered around everywhere as you can see. You're going to need to get some form of shed on the go. There is some fairly cheap ones that come with this map so I probably will be using those. I think I've got a couple downloaders as well. Anyone else has got any suggestions? anything cheap equipment cheap sheds things like that please fire them down in the comments because that would be awesome because we're not going to be able to afford a lot of um big pricey machinery to start with we know that it's going to be a struggle as we know so i think what we'll do is we'll do that contract i'm going to get some equipment that hopefully will make the next process a little bit quicker for us and then certainly moving forward is going to be good so we're going to probably put another field in round here somewhere for the barley that will leave all of this roughly i probably won't mow all this grass i think we're we'll concentrating getting this barley field prepped and ready because we are running out of time for that and then over here is going to be a decent grass field so that we can get really good grass off of there and put into our bunker silo and plus i don't think all this grass if we mowed it wouldn't fit in that bunker silo it's going to be an extremely hard challenge to get that in there right so let's drop off some equipment um i'm not going to go right up around this top with the field i suppose it wouldn't hurt to mow the grass let's drop that weight off there and we'll drop that off there right so we need to go and grab our plow and with that plow that we've got that should get through that contract pretty quick i'm going to grab also our mower and i'm going to put that on the front because we are going to need that in a bit. I probably, right, what way around's that? Right, that way. So I need to back onto that. Is that that way? Yeah. Need to have it on round the sort of wrong way, basically, don't we? If I line up, would help. We'll keep that mower on because that will act like some sort of weight. Now, I think we can cut across i'm sure there's a bridge over here um yeah so yeah anyway i'm a dad i i am loving it i am so excited i'm so happy i can't stop smiling and he has been absolutely i don't want to curse it i need to touch some wood somewhere but he has been amazing he's sleeping really well 
we we're having to wake him up sometimes to feed him which is a bonus i think only twice he's woke up before we've had to sort of feed him um with midwife told us we need to feed him every sort of three hours so we've basically been setting an alarm trying to grab some sleep ourselves in the evenings and uh, like i say i think twice he's woke us up within those three hours so pretty good so now that i kind of know that we're into some sort of routine with him we fed him just a moment ago i put him down mrs snowy's keeping an eye on him he's gone to sleep so i know i can crack on with a video so that is awesome i wasn't expecting to be back as quick as this but um the boss has said no that's fine if you want to go and do a video don't be too long though so we might not get everything done in this episode but we will have to stay in october the second so that we can get everything done before we lose the planting window look at that we're 10 percent already so this thing's gonna just fly through this contract I'm not gonna take very long at all i'm not even gonna lift the plow up we're just gonna spin round if we went any faster we'd probably take off look like some weird aeroplane doesn't it but anyway let's get this contract done and dusted hopefully it will be complete before we even get to the other side Okay, right, this should be it. We should be able to get all of that strip. With a bit of luck, it will come up very soon, hopefully. To so say we've completed. In fact, I might even be a nice person and just go to the end. We're almost there anyway, aren't we? There we go, we are done. So, let's do a half decent job it says there we go let's fold that in right let's collect on that that is awesome so collect thank you very much look at that up to nine grand we are going to spend a little bit of money though and the reason why i bought the mower is because we're going to sell that it didn't last very long but um it did the job when we required it so it's not worth a lot of money. I'm not sure how much we'll get for that. But we need to get something that's just a little bit bigger and quicker. Now the tractor is only 35 horsepower. But this mower actually is 50 if I remember rightly. So what we're going to buy is more expensive. But it's not quite as much required horsepower hopefully it still works okay so let's put that in there we're gonna have to leave the plow here as well for the moment so we'll drop that there we'll jump out so <laughs> 814 pounds we will repaint that because you get a little bit extra don't you um doesn't need repairing which is awesome sell that there we go we're now over 10 grand now what we're going to upgrade to is one of my old favorites which are pretty cheap 
and it's these guys so 7400 we're gonna get hit with but um that's seven meters working width so that is what oh no i don't want to buy that shall we change the color yes we can we'll go red seeing that we've got a red ish tractor buy that for five thousand three hundred we'll change that to red and just like that we're down to three grand that's still a good amount though i'm okay with that because like i said this should make things oh i'm around the wrong way aren't i why did i think that was the way to hook up i have no idea right this one should be right there we go and then hook up this way and then we're going to need to wind roll all this up get it collected etc like that so quite a lot again to do let's go down the path i'm going to put on the mini map because we're going to try and get to I'll tell you what, all of that equipment there's in the way, isn't it? Um, because I'm thinking I'm going to go the other side like we have with that field of this track. So yeah, we just need to move some of this. Um, how far are we going to go though? That is the thing. Right, let's drop that down there. To be fair, it's only this, isn't it? I can't see anything else. <laughs> the grass is so long. Let's move this out of the way. Obviously, it doesn't matter. We can cut as much as we want. It doesn't mean that the field has to go right up here. It's just giving us a bit more grass to chuck into our bunker silo. We'll go like that. I'm just going to quickly check. We haven't got anything else right i think we're good to go so yeah i'm thinking that's probably roughly where we're ending aren't we and we'll come up probably i don't know maybe in line with that so it gives us a bit of room possibility for sheds we can put a few sheds over this way around our house hopefully as well so yeah we'll probably come up around about there and come down i don't know maybe about there We'll see. I'm going to make it up as we go along, basically. And what I think we need to do... Is get that unfolded. Um, right, we will... I think we'll probably start a little bit of a weird place to start. We'll, we'll start here, I think. So let's fire that front one up. Let's fire the rear one up. Off we go. I'm going to zoom out so we can see. And I need to keep my eye on the mini map as well. Mainly for the bottom end. So we could go right up here, because like I say, it doesn't matter if we're cutting the grass. But the field shape will be slightly different to what we're actually getting here. And I know we could mow all of this, but like I said before, it's just not all going to fit in our bunker silo. So we may as well just do what we can in terms of the side of the field size of the field now this one's probably going to be a little bit bigger than the one across the road there i'm not exactly on the best angle there that's not very really good at all is it that's fine right i need to concentrate now because we are getting to the boundary so let's try and get around now we want to be careful for the overhang here i probably would say something like that 
Yeah, I mean, it doesn't have to be dead straight. The fields, a bit of character to them is fine, isn't it? I'm heading roughly to that corner of that field because I think that is right on the edge. Or should I say that bunker silo? I think we are actually slightly over our boundary with that bunker silo, but that is fine. As long as none of you guys say anything, I'm not going to say anything. Right, now I head back down into this corner ever so slightly. We'll mow backwards. And we'll head up, try and meet what we've got. So that again is going to be a decent sized field. Quite tempted to keep it going up to the top actually when we do create the field. Give us that little bit extra and I can turn that off because it's just a case of filling in now. So I will finish this off. I may make that edge a little bit straighter. It doesn't have to be perfect though, but a little bit better than what I've done it. And then I'll bring you back in when we're ready to win row. Okay, I think we are done. I did tidy that edge up a little bit, but this is what we are looking at i think i will come up this far with the field actually and that is going to be a very decent size looks a little bit odd on the angle there but i think that's right on our boundary might even well might be unable to harvest some of that we'll see time will tell right i'm thinking i was looking at these look at this a thousand for that I don't think I've got anything cheaper than that. I mean, two grand for these. These are really nice sheds, actually. I don't really want to get something like that. It's not going to be big enough for us. So, yeah. Some cheap... Oh, I don't know. 1,200. That's quite nice as well, actually. Hmm. Oh, that snaps around. I was thinking up here, but I don't think... Look at the difference. The land is not very flat there. It's pretty atrocious. I wonder if we should put one of these down, actually. I don't know. What's biggest? Um, we've got that. Or oh, the hinterland ones. Oh, that's bigger, isn't it? It's more open as well. I know you can see the back. I'm thinking maybe up here, but sort of so we don't ruin our view from the house i don't there's no windows outside anyway so that's fine or if we're sat on the little picnic bench there that's fine so bang another thousand down hmm we can always landscape that a bit later not a priority now so we've got a shed we can put things in I may put these in there now just to see what it looks like. We'll go down this end, I think. Right, so we'll drop that front mower off. Look at this. We are getting somewhere. Slowly but surely. And this is what I love about it. Just building yourself up. Let's not smash up the shed before we've even got it. Whoa. Right, so, wind rower. Let's go and grab that. Hopefully it shouldn't take too long, sorry. I can't speak today. Getting too excited now. Let's hook on there. We need to pick it all up. Chuck it in our bunker silo. That will need compacting. Possibly we'll do that off camera, though. I'll have to remember that I've gone a bit out of the boundary there. Well, not out of our boundary, but, you know, out of the mowed area. I should have come inside a little bit to start that. This bush will go once we plough up the area. That's not a problem. Now, what I want to 
do is stop there because I am a little bit worried that I might have gone over there. I'm hoping I haven't, but if we do this, it should pull it in. I don't know if I've gone wide enough there. That'd be alright, we'll pick that up. That should pull it away from that edge. We should be able to pick it up. I remember on No Man's Land on FS19 I did a similar... Oh, what happened there? That went a bit weird, didn't it? Similar sort of series. And again, creating my own fields like this. I went outside the boundary and there was a lump of grass that stayed there for so long that I just couldn't get because it was out of our reach and it just bugged me to death this is looking very good yeah I think I may have chucked a little bit out there on that grass area I might just go round and in like a swirly whirly right again I will get this done we will pick it up with a load and wagon in fact what I might do is pick most of it up and start tipping it in and I'll bring you back in when we're on the last couple of loads maybe We'll see how much we've got. I'm hoping we've got more than what we got off of that field, which again should mean more money for us. Um, that's a point. Let's have a quick look at silage. I can't remember what the best price was. 189. January, February. So by the time we shouldn't be too far off of that. I'm hoping that will be a decent price by the time that's ready to go. Alright, looking good so far. I've done a few loads already. Probably going to get another one and a bit missed a tiny little bit back there as well we'll grab that in a second and obviously we're going to need to compact it as well so or compact it compact <laughs> you know what I mean it's not looking the best I got a little bit stuck there I'll try to keep it away from the edges because I don't want to lose too much but um we might be all right going down this side and it's going to take a while to flatten all this especially with this sort of tractor you slow down a little bit there oh that's going to create a very horrible bump there <laughs> I'll sort that out it's not my problem I mean it's not a problem it's my problem that's what I meant told you I couldn't speak today we'll go back grab this go back up get that little bit I missed put some of the equipment away look again over there the wind rowers in there it's all looking a bit more tidy I will do the same for all the other bits and bobs over there the other tractor where is the other tractor I have no idea I think it might be down by the store was it I can't remember I'll grab all that next episode when you come in most things should be under that shed and then like I say we will stay in this month we'll get this field ploughed out we'll chuck some barley in and then we should be good to go and then that can be I don't know how far that way we can go whether we'll split that up we might just have one big grass field I'm not sure because well, I think we do need to carry on with silage we're probably going to have to cut a few more trees down here and there and there we go we're done 
So we'll dump this in. We'll have a quick look what we've got. I think we'll do to finish the episode. I know it is raining. It did come on bang at 12, uh, 12 10 a.m. But we've got sun coming as well. I presume at 11. I think it was only an hour that rain. Yeah. So it's going to look like it's a nice day for the rest of the sort of month so to speak right come on we're stuck in that gear again Let's see if we can get down this side now um right that's not good it's not letting me tip that that's annoying ah see look i told you we were right over the boundary there that's not good, is it? Oh, we've got a little bit there. We'll try and dump some there without getting stuck. And we'll have to put the rest in somewhere else. Back, that's all going to fit in there, isn't that? Righto, that's not a problem. Let's quickly turn on the help window. Let's see what we ended up with. 59,000. 269 there's a tiny little bit there i don't know if that's from the last lot i think that's all in there i'm going to try and get that all compacted looks like it's going to try and spill out that side again i think this side's okay hmm. we'll see what i'm going to do to finish the episode just to bring a bit more money back in let's get that off let's go up let's accept that field free it's not very big i think we're gonna have enough fertilizer in our spreader whoa there we go we need to get that on the back pretty quick where is the hookup there it is i think yeah because we did our field with all that i think we'll be all right so let's head on over to three. I'm going to quickly turn that back off. Yeah, probably about the same size, maybe a little bit smaller. We'll get that done. That'll bring us a bit more money back in. And that's a nice, positive way to finish the episode, I think. Quite productive. Right, three is there to our right. Yeah, not too bad at all. Shouldn't take us very long. Back over the little bridge. Very cool map though. I'm really enjoying this map. I can't really see where I've been, so we're just going to go for it. Hopefully we'll get the um, warning come up. Well, not warning, but the info to say we are done. Yeah, it doesn't seem to go down too bad, this spread up for the fertiliser. I think we'll be okay. to waste it buying it in the little bags like we did earlier um, works out pretty well I think it's not too expensive is it till we can sort of buy more in bulk that'll be the way to go I think we should be able to get away with missing the odd bit here and there it's just annoying we can't see where we've gone what are they actually growing in there oh canola same as us so 38 percent complete we'll stop about there i think we might get away with going down there about there maybe don't 
Told you, I'm just going to make it up. A bit of luck, this rain's going to stop any second. Not that it's going to help us see where we've been. Um, we we'll turn stones off. That will, though. Oh, not bad, look. Not too bad at all. Pretty good guess there, Mr. Snowy. We'll stop that. Um, yeah, that's not bad at all. 57 complete. I think from there. And then we'll cut around there. And down there. A little bit missed there. I think we might get away with that though. Yes. <laughs> A little bit bad that bit. Oh well, if need be, I will go over that bit. That's fine. 87% complete. Where are we looking now? We've got a bit of a chunk coming up there. So if we go something like that. Not bad. Smash here, isn't it? Come on, give it to me now, will you, please? Right, it's got to be that bit up there, isn't it, really? There we go, we'll go about there. Wasting a little bit, probably 97% complete. Come on. Wow, there we go, we are done. Not a bad effort. Right, let's collect that. Another 1,000 into the back pocket. So we finished the episode still on 3,387. That's not bad. We put a shed down, we've got some new equipment. We've started to get a new field. And we're going to have some silage on the way very soon as well. But I think we'll leave it there for that episode, guys. It's great to be back. I hope you have all enjoyed it. If you have, please hit the like button. If you're new to our channel, please consider subscribing. And don't forget to smash that bell so you don't miss any future videos of mine. I've been Farm Sim Snowy. Stay frosty.